Hi, this is Ron Jones from Lean Berets. I'm going to demonstrate to you a really nice series of movements called the call down. And I've learned this series through a couple of my coaches, Rakanon and Tara, and I'm still learning how to do it. But as with any kind of movement or fitness tool, you can continue to learn layers of the fundamentals the rest of your life. So this is what I'm doing with it now and how I think about it and how it makes me feel. And it's, it's a wonderful series. It only takes a few minutes to do. But even in um, doing the three movements three times through, which is what I usually do, you can get to a deeper place. And so it's very good for the mind and the body. It's also what I used right before we did the Fox News piece in New York City last summer. We went out to a feed of 10 million people across the world for La Sierra High PE and the importance of physical education for kids. So right before the cameras went live, this is what I was doing. So I'm going to talk you through step by step. I also use it in corporate wellness to help people manage stress levels or reset on a, a movement break, you know, in the morning or afternoon. I like to use it uh, at the end of a session to kind of cleanse and purify or enter uh, some type of session with, with this movement as well. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, here's the call down series. There are actually three parts of this movement. And so from the get-go, I'm going to start talking about the feet and connecting with the ground. So what I like to do when I do this is I split my feet out about shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider, and then I soften my knees. And I'm not going to do a lot of up or down movement, but I don't want to be stiff and rigid. I have a little bit of, of softness uh, coming up from the ground, but I'm very connected, meaning my toes are down, the arches are active, they're coming up. And so think about two lines of energy coming off the ground, helping feed the structure through your body and getting that energy from the earth. So the first part of this movement is I've got my hands together here crossed. I like to start with a cross. I do a lot of cross in the midline and so many of my movements today. So this will be another example of just adding this in. So I've got this, this bowl or this area of energy here by my deep pelvic floor. And I'm going to come out and I'm drawing up energy from the earth. So think of your palms like suction cups. I'm going to come out and draw up energy. And my arms are very active here, meaning they're not floppy. There's a line of energy going off each arm. So again, I'm soft but connected. I draw up and I'm breathing in right here. When I get about to shoulder height, I slowly rotate and then I'm scooping up energy over my head. And I'm going to come right over the crown of my head. So if I turn from the side, I'm coming up and down. So I'm not behind and I'm not in front. So let's review. First part of the movement. I've got my connection with the earth. I'm soft and not rigid, but I'm connected energetically. I'm drawing up, breathing in, and now I'm scooping. And I'm going to breathe out over the crown of my head and then clear my face. I come out and I do a little water flow movement here and then I come in for the second part of the movement. I'm going to draw up the center line right in front of my navel, up. And as the hands pass my face, I'm slowly rotating towards the sky and I'm scooping up energy again. And I do a little bit of lengthening here through the spine and then I press down. And then I cross my hands and I push out. And I start again. And each series I'm going to give you more information. So we're drawing up energy, my arms are active, I rotate, I scoop up. I'm breathing in here and now I'm breathing out through the mouth, pushing down over my skull, coming in front, pushing out. I do a wave transition and I come up the center, breathing in through the nose, rotate, scoop, and right here I breathe out.
Now I'll cross my left hand on top and I spread that energy around. I start the cycle again. Let's talk about energy more. Pulling up positive energy from the earth, scooping it up from the sky, pushing out the negative energy, drawing up the positive energy up through the midline. Letting everything go with a nice deep exhale. And I cross here and I spread that energy around. And at the last third part of this, I step together softly. So there are many parts of that. And so let's go through it again. There are three parts. The pre motion part is what's your connection with the ground are you connected and energetically alive or are you stiff and rigid and and just flaccid and not really connected with the earth so we want to get that set because that will influence the quality of the movement so I've got that coming up I feel on and I'm coming up and slowly rotating pushing down And you can think of this any way that you'd like. I like to think in terms of drawing up energy or pushing out certain types of energy. There's actually a lot more to it than that, but we'll keep it really simple today. And then I like to cross here the first time through or the first trip through. I've got one hand on top, the other hand on bottom. The next time I come through the third movement, I'll have the opposite hand on top. So I'll switch. The last time, if I'm doing three trips through this, I'll come here and then just equally push out. So I'm balanced. Right on top, left on top, and then in the center and out. I'm also paying attention to finger position and am I, am I rotating the wrist at the same speed? Is one wrist um, awkward and and maybe it's not quite as smooth as the other. And what do I need to do to get that synced in? So these are all things that I can play with the rest of my life. And it's good for my brain just to think and connect that way. So it's a wonderful series. And even if it's not perfect, I think it will serve you well. So we're going to go through three more times here. Here we go. I'm connected in through the nose, out through the mouth, Here's the transition, in through the nose, out through the mouth, right on top, in through the nose, out through the mouth. So think of it this way in the breathing. Uh, if you think of your ribs as an accordion or a bellows pushing in and out, as your ribs expand, Think of breathing in. As they contract and get closer together, think of breathing out. So as I do the first movement, I'm opening my chest and lengthening my body as I spread my wings here. I'm opening up space and I'm breathing in. As I get up here, I'm very open and then I start pressing down and doing a bit of a contraction. And then I'm breathing out. The second part of the movement, I'm coming in and I'm drawing in like a bellows, I'm breathing in, and as I bring my arms back out, it's that contraction I breathe out. This movement, as I push forward, I'm opening up my chest, so I'm breathing in, and then as the arms come back, there's a little settling here, and I'm breathing out, so from the side.
if you do the breathing part of it and the mindful motion part of it, you'll, I think you can get in a really deep place. I did this one time in an airport in Phoenix and had a, a like a spiritually moving experience. So um, just doing it in the sunset, just going through this pattern about five times, it really took me to a deeper place and it was, it was wonderful. So to review the ending, because I don't want to come into this harshly or exit harsh. I want to softly float out of this. So if this was the last uh, part of my movement, so let's say we're, we're finishing uh, coming down. That's the second part. And now we're going to go into the third. And here's the finish. I come down and then I step together. Cross, energy, pelvic floor. missing I'll figure out along the way because it will only get better from here